Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, I'm Pastor Pete and I have your word for the day. Let me ask you a question. When you hear the word joyful noise, what do you think about? Do you think about kids laughing, kids playing on a playground? Uh, maybe you think of applause, like a whole crowd cheering or applauding together. Um, today's verse from Psalm 100 starts out by saying, make a joyful noise to the Lord. So after it makes that big statement, make a joyful noise to the Lord, it tells us how and why to make that noise, how and why we're supposed to praise. So I want to take a look at the whole chapter of Psalm 100. It's only five verses. It's going to be easy. So in uh, verses 2 and verse 4, it tells us how to make a joyful noise, how to praise God. Serve the Lord with gladness, come into his presence with singing. And then in verse 4, it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. So what's the how of making this joyful noise? Well, the how is with gladness, with singing, and with thanksgiving. So our singing, our praise should be filled with gladness. Our praise and our singing should be filled with gratitude, gladness and gratitude. That should mark the way we praise the Lord. When you come into church, um, are you glad to be there or are you sad to be there? Of course, it'd be hard to make a joyful noise if you're sad. Are you filled with gratitude? Are you spending some time thinking about the good things God has given you and that you're ready to give thanks to him for all that he's done? So that's the how, gladness and gratitude. Now, how about the why? Why are we supposed to praise the Lord with joyful noise? Verse three says, know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Then in verse five, it says, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. So it starts out with no. Know that the Lord is God. And then it says, for the Lord is good. So we have a good God in the Lord and we're supposed to know that. So what we have is this fact of knowledge that is supposed to spur us on to giving thanks. It's supposed to spur us on to praise. I love this. What you know is supposed to lead you into worship. Your education is supposed to lead to exaltation. Um, what you learn is supposed to lead you to love. What you study in the word is supposed to lead you to sing. So spend time this week getting to know the Lord, getting to know that he is good, increasing what you know about him so that the next time you have opportunity to praise him, you'll be doing it from that base of knowledge of who he is, what he's done and how good he is. I hope that today's word for the day has blessed you. If you've liked it, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and I will see you next time.